Do your tax returns routinely trigger DIFCON alerts at the IRS? Are your personal finances cited in biz school case studies of the filthy rich? If so, please skip this story. This comparison test is for sports car enthusiasts of somewhat lesser means, those with moet tastes and, well, a moet budget, once in a while, if the kids are already out of college. After years of threatening a comeback and delivering a few 8C moon rocks, Alfa Romeo has resumed shipping cars to America. If images of star-crossed Milano sedans or Benjamin Braddock from The Graduate come to mind, you're way overdue for a software upgrade. The Alpha 4C challenging Porsche's second-generation Cayman in this test is a legit exotic with a base price barely above that of a Corvette Stingray. In pitting this tantalizing newbie against the reigning authority in the affordable mid-engine sports car class, we logged 650 miles hot lapped a challenging race course, and subjected the cars to a full workup of performance tests. As always, our goal is to identify the better all-arounder, not the quicker quarter-mile sprinter or the superior track car. For our real-world driving portion, we scouted fresh, to us, northeastern Kentucky roads. This is coal country, where pickup truck brands create tribal affiliations and rebel flags fly. To extract coal, mining companies simply blow the tops off Appalachian Plateau foothills. Laying pavement through this region also required deep cuts into mountainsides. We blitzed 66 miles of pristine Kentucky Route 32 between Moorhead and Louisa, a dizzying mix of switchbacks and sweepers with more elevation changes than Six Flags's King Da Ka coaster. Traffic and enforcement were blissfully light. The Cayman is the sports car that Dr. Porsche and his son first dreamed of building in 1939, two seats under a sleek roof, with the engine in the middle and the suspension cinched tight. In case you slept through physics class, a mid-engine layout enhances acceleration, braking, and handling dynamics with optimum tire loading and a low polar moment of inertia, location, location, July 2011. A $53,595 Cayman starting price buys you an aluminum intensive body, a 275 horsepower 2.7 liter flat 6, and 18 inch wheels and tires. Adding a $4,690 infotainment package, $2,320 power sport seats, $1,790 adjustable dampers, $1,560 19-inch wheels and tires, a $1,320 brake-based torque vectoring system, and a few other options bumped the Porsches as tested price to $70,345. The Alfa Romeo 4C is for all intents a Cub Ferrari 458 Italia. Aping the blank check mid-engined sports cars offered by Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren, the 4C's core is a carbon fiber composite tub that weighs only 235 pounds. A new 1.7-liter inline-four engine boasts aluminum block and head construction, an over-square bore, stroke ratio, forged internal parts, and direct fuel injection. A Borg Warner Turbo adds 21 pounds per square inch of boost, and an intercooler dumps unwanted heat into the atmosphere. The 4C's 237 horsepower doesn't sound that impressive until you factor in its 2,471 pound curb weight, a 609 pound advantage over the Cayman. Its wheelbase is shorter than the Porsche's by 3.7 inches, with 14.9 less inches of overall length. Yeah.